Got another eBay buy. Great big box of Warhammer miniatures. Did I spend too much money on this? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Dave, this is Quarter Bash, and we're doing another miniature video. I bought another box of miniatures off eBay. This is the one I bought. And see that price at $2.99? That's too much money. It was too much money for this to pay, plus shipping. Shipping wasn't much because it was very close to me, but that is too much. Uh, I sent an offer to this seller, and I, I, I thought, you know what? I'll just throw out 200 bucks, 199.99, and if they take it, that might be worth it. There could be some surprises in there. It's pretty much all Games Workshop, Citadel stuff, Warhammer, Warhammer 40K, a lot of it. I recognize some of the pieces. I know that they can sell, all right. Um, I kind of like all the bags. There's a lot of bags of plastic and metal parts, and I think those may make additional miniatures, additional miniature sets that I could put together and sell. So I'm very interested in what's in this, or at least I was very interested for 200 bucks. I threw it out there, and I have the box. They, they took the offer. So, yeah, I don't know. Not sure that I am going to... Uh, be able to make my money back, or I, I feel like I'll be able to make my money back. I don't know if I'm going to make much profit, but uh, we'll open this thing up on camera and see what's in there and see if, uh, see if I'm wrong about that. All right, let's go, uh, let's go open this thing up. All right, here we are. What's up, everybody? I'm filming this one in my pajamas. Deal with it. This is basically what I wear all the time around the house now. It's COVID time. It's not like we go out and go anywhere. All right, let's open this box of Warhammer miniatures and see what we find. Never cut towards yourself. Oh, one thing I wanted to say. I've opened it, you saw me open it, but let's give it a shake and see how it sounds. This could go either way with that shake. I can hear pieces moving against themselves, but I also, it, it didn't move around a lot. So I've opened boxes like this where it was, it was terrible and things had gotten broken, and I've opened boxes like this where everything was fine. So we'll just have to see when we get in there. The nature of a lot of the Warhammer miniatures is you don't have to worry about that. They're just, they were made a little bit later. I think the metal's a little lighter. It may not even be lead. It's, you know, more of a pewter. So, let's see. Okay. okay. <laughs> there was a piece of bubble wrap on top. And then the items are just thrown in bags inside. It looks like there's a little bit of bubble wrap with between the metal stuff. The plastic's on top. You know what? Just putting the plastic on top and the metal on the bottom is actually better than a lot of people do. So, okay. Let's see what we've got. Bunch of horses. These are all Games Workshop. Basis say Games Workshop 1998. They all appear to have their tails broken off, which I think isn't very good. But there's also loose tails. Huh. There's also loose tails in the bag, so I assume they can be glued back on. It's just probably one of those things that happens. So, all right. Not terribly exciting, but horses are cool, I guess. Another horse and a little cannon. I'm not gonna do too much with the plastics. These are Tyranid bits and horse heads, it looks like. Shields. This looks like banners. There's a bunch of heads in here though. I do, maybe it's elves that I got. I don't know, I'm gonna find out. Plastic's kinda hard to show on camera right now, so. All right. These are plastic Space Marine parts. More plastic Space Marine parts. 
plastic Eldar parts. All right, so these were something that I was kind of happy about when I saw them in the in the auction. These are Eldar jet bikes. Now, I don't know how complete these things are. There's a rider. I think there's one this one, I think. They're plastic with some metal pieces. Looks like I've got six of them. And this is broken. So that's a casualty of shipping, which is too bad. With some kind of larger jet bike. Ah, that's a bummer. Yeah. But I don't even know that it's complete. So we'll just leave those there for now. These appear to be painted, well, primer and painted elves for Warhammer. Lots of plastic dwarves. This one has a gun, but it's a fantasy miniature. These are all fantasy. They've got, they've got guns and axes and things like that. More elves of some sort. Elves are humans. Yeah. I guess elf parts. Bases. These all appear to be plastic capes. Probably elf capes. Most of them have arrow quivers on the back. A couple of them are fur. Plastic. These are cool though. I've never seen these. They look like they look like demons made of trees. This one's got like a part of a skeleton impaled in its branches. I don't even know what these are. So that's cool. Plastic again. All the plastic feels like a bonus because really I I kind of get going always with the metal stuff when I go to start selling. Alright, more elves and some plastic Eldar. And then, no, more bases, more plastic. This is, uh, I, know, I can't tell what this stuff is. It's just random plastic bits. Okay. Okay. They're also plastic. Whew. This guy's cool. Some kind of an ogre holding a cannon. Another one of those guys in plastic. And another. This looks like the base for a weapon, and then I've got. I don't know. I think this is a Tau battle suit or something, but it doesn't have any feet. Maybe the feet are in here somewhere. We'll find out. All right. I don't think I'm going to take you piece by piece through the whole rest of the thing. I'll just speed it up and we'll get to the end and I'll show you what I found.
All right, let's take a look at what we have here. Gonna be honest, this isn't exactly what I expected. Um, I think my brain was just making me see what I wanted to see because there is a number of, uh, there are a number of Eldar characters for 40K, this whole section here, basically, including some very nice ones here. But, you know, this thing, I thought this was a uh, Space Marine Dreadnought. It is not. I don't know what it is. I think it's a privateer miniature for a game I don't know much about, which is fine. There may be some value in it. And, you know, I don't feel like I got taken, but I also didn't quite get what I expected. And that is not the seller's fault. They put up pictures and I could have scrutinized them more. So let's, let's get it a little closer and see what we've got. All right, first thing first, these bags are the bags I was stacking up with all the plastics. There's a lot here. There's a lot I'm going to be able to do with that. So I'm not, I'm not upset about this at all. There's, it's just going to take a little bit of work to figure out what all this is. But, you know, it'll be worth selling and doing something with. And I'll get some nice education out of it, too. Find out what some of these sets are. This stuff... I've done quite well with some of these miniatures. These are... Oh, I can't remember what they're called. They're not avatars. I think that's what this is, actually. Um, but they, they do all right. I can put these into sets. These heavy weapons guys are pretty sought after. It looks like I only have... There's three of them, or four of them, and I only have two of the heavy weapons, which is kind of a bummer, but maybe I'll find some of that in some of these other bags. Of course, I got the speeders. Um, this guy did not have the rest of the whatever goes in the back, and one of his wings is broken, so... And over here, there's some more Eldar that I've never really dealt with, like newer versions of models which is kind of cool. These are, I believe, Swooping Hawks, although they're incomplete. They don't really have all their wings, and one of them's broken. So whatever. And then up here, it's a bunch of Wood Elves for Warhammer Fantasy. And I could do a fair amount with those. I mean, they're not going to make a lot of money, but they'll move. Bunch of random stuff down here that's incomplete. Horse stuff, that'll do all right. Here's the riders, and then the horses are plastic. They're in these bags right uh, right here. Okay, the thing that did surprise me was some of this stuff. Sorry about the movement. A lot of these miniatures are from Reaper. And uh, I tend to not go in for Reaper stuff. A lot of this stuff is Reaper. I tend to not go in for that stuff um, only because it's, it's, it's too modern. Most of the Reaper stuff has just been made in the last, like, maybe 10 years, and you can get it all. And it's not like all the, all the Games Workshop stuff basically comes from the UK, and a lot of it was released in the 90s and early 2000s, and you can't really get it anymore. Even some of it's in the 80s. That's why I get, you know, a high dollar amount on some of those things I sell. The Reaper stuff, I'll probably just put these miniatures in a lot together and hope I get 20 bucks. But that's all right. Some of them are really cool. Everyone, I mean, I like this Minotaur. I mean, I always like a Minotaur. He's pretty cool. And I'm not 100% he's Reaper, but I think it says RMI on the base. Yeah, and okay, when you see that, like, speckle-pocked base, that's a Reaper miniature. And they're just... I mean, they're cool. That's not bad. That's as cool as some other miniatures that I've sold for a lot of money, but I'll bet you this is a $5 or $6 miniature. I think there are some Lord of the Rings ones. I'm holding them up here. I think this is a Lord of the Rings miniature. I think that's Elrond. I think. I could be wrong. But that's kind of a cool get, if so. Some, uh, some of that stuff down here. Once again, I think there might be a couple more Lord of the Rings. And then there's like another cool Reaper miniature. It's cool. It's heavy. It doesn't have the speckled base, but I'm pretty sure I saw the RMI on the bottom. He's kind of rad. And he's, I actually, he was, had a, the start of a nice paint job. Someone could get in there and touch him up and make him a really nice looking, uh, I think he's a giant, like a giant troll. Don't know what this is. I think it's a kind of a horrible ghast or ghost just with nothing on the inside. 
Again, I'm pretty sure that says RMI on the base right there. But it's neat. I'm going to find out what this thing is. I haven't seen it before. And then I actually don't see anything on the base on this one. And it's got a different kind of pockmarked base. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure this is Reaper. But regardless, it's just a cool miniature. It's just cool. Sometimes I just dig the the designs. I don't know what this guy is supposed to be. Is it their take on a kobold? Since no one ever seems to really settle on exactly what those things are. Looks like he's got a friend here. Let's see if I can get him in there. And whoever was painting these did a pretty nice job. All right. And then there's a couple of, one of the things they used to do a lot, you don't see it as much anymore, but you, some kind of racy lady miniatures. This is a, a naked demon here. I don't know who makes it. Those are all right. I'll figure those out. Um, some, uh, some Games Workshop dwarves up here. Those are cool. And then, you know, there was a couple of Raw Partha. There's this weird little Raw Partha dude. Well, let me see. This weird little Raw Partha dude. It's so when you're dealing with Raw Partha miniatures, that's the type of base you want to see. That's from the era when they were making the AD and D licensed stuff, and they were making the good stuff. So this guy, I'm pretty sure he came in a set of other guys like him. I've seen him before. I just uh, I don't know exactly off the top of my head which one he is. And this guy, this guy, I don't know what to tell you. He is also Raw Partha with that cool base. But I can't tell you what he is. Now this one, I mean, as weird as it seems, this one may be the, the miniature I'm most excited about in this uh, in this lot, just to figure out what he is. And I, probably when I find this one in Lost Minis, I'm just going to like smack my forehead and go, oh, of course, you knew what that was. You've seen him before. But no, when I... When I see one of these Raw Partha miniatures and it feels like I've never laid eyes on it, it's either just me getting old or I found something kind of cool. So, stoked for that. And then there's just some weird ones I have no idea about. All right, can you see me? Okay. So my overall assessment on this is I didn't do that bad. I did okay. Um... If I had seen all of this laid out like this and someone said $200, would I give them the 200 for it? Yeah, I might. I might. Especially if I didn't know what was in these bags and I knew there was some more I could squeeze out of that. I'm, I'm not going to make a lot of money. It's going to be more, more uh, me as a hobbyist just kind of having fun with this stuff. But it's all right. It's fun. I do like miniatures. I like the ability to go through this stuff and see what it is and find out what I'm dealing with. So, so I'm happy about that. Anyway, thank you very much for checking this out with me. And uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.